All right, um, what's up? It's your girl, Easy, or Easy. So I'm making this video because I want to start a like personal docu-series of me on the journey of clearing my skin. Now, I, first of all, I've been insecure about my skin for as long as I can remember. Like that has been one of my oldest insecurities like since I was in second grade. I was insecure about my skin. And it's crazy because you know looking back at my school pictures like I was insecure about like you know three little bumps on my forehead but I had no hyperpigmentation. I had no you know serious problems or discoloration and I really had it good <laughs> back then but for some reason, my skin has always been like an insecurity of mine, even when I was in elementary school. So, you know, growing up, I never had clear skin. My skin was never clear. I always had some type of like breakouts or hyperpigmentation or just like sensitive skin. Like if I get one bump on my face it's basically over with like it's going to turn black and it's going to mark up my face for the next 12 months or longer you know so i feel like i never got a break like it's just one breakout after the next after the next after the next and it's like i i feel like i really cannot catch a break and i've been wearing makeup since i was in middle school yeah so you know, this has been something that's been holding me back. I will not record if I don't have my makeup done. I will not go live on Instagram or on YouTube if I don't have my makeup done. I won't do a lot of things. You know, I'll go out in public, but I won't go out like to the club because I just feel like if I don't have my makeup done, you know, it don't make no sense for me to go. And I feel like, you know, that has blocked me from just doing basic things like being productive, like making content. Like I feel like I shouldn't feel like, okay, I'm not ready to make content today because I don't feel like doing my makeup or I can't do this because my makeup's not done. Or, you know, that stuff just slows me down and it holds me back. And it's like, I don't understand, you know, well, I understand why, you know, I feel like I have to have it, but I want to conquer that. And what comes with that is healing my skin, right? So I, you know, with the research that I've done online, I mean, the countless research I've done online, one girl said you have to lay down the makeup like you have to put it to rest and that's the only thing or that's one of the things one of the main things that's going to help you to um start to heal your skin and i'm like anything else <laughs> like anything else like please you know i tried to go around that and i feel like nothing is really working like all of the acne treatments that I've bought, you know, all this, like, just the toners, the moisturizers, the cleansers, you know, it's just, I've done it all. And I feel like, you know, I'm still battling with this insecurity. And, you know, I... I'm aware that my acne is not as bad as, you know, uh, what other people are suffering from. And I have seen acne that is worse. But to me, when I look in the mirror, it's something that I hate, you know, and no one feels that but me. And I feel like, you know, I have to conquer this you know to be able to love myself more and and overcome this so for the next I think it's six weeks I am not wearing any makeup 
I'm not wearing any makeup when I do my content. I'm not wearing any makeup when I go live. I'm not wearing makeup when I do my hair videos. I'm not wearing makeup, period. I'm not wearing makeup when I go out. I'm just going to give my skin a break, you know, and see what it does because that's the only thing that I haven't tried yet. So I'm going to give my skin a rest until my birthday, which is January 30th. And yeah, like that's the, that's the only thing left. That's the only thing left. That's the only thing that I haven't done. And in the meantime, I'm going to be following a very strict nightly and morning schedule um, for my skin. And I'm going to be drinking my trusty lemon water. I'm gonna try to finish a gallon at least like every two days. Uh, because trying to drink a gallon in a day, I, I mean, that's just, uh, that is too advanced for me. I can't even drink. I don't even have time to drink that much water. But I will try to drink a full gallon of lemon water every two days. And yeah. So, you know, I am tired of crying about my skin. I'm tired of, you know, not feeling beautiful over my skin. I am tired like i'm tired i'm tired of wearing makeup i'm tired of feeling like i need makeup i'm just tired you know and it's just a few things that you know bother me on a daily basis it's like first of all it's of course like this hyperpigmentation right here like my scars my acne scars and then I have this rash on my face that I feel like is there because of makeup. Um, because when I like wear makeup daily, like every single day when I make content and stuff like that, like it just gets worse. It really gets worse. It's, this is really not even the worst that it gets. Like y'all are not even seeing it for real. But I stopped wearing makeup for like a week now. So I'm really gonna be going on seven weeks for real, but I'm gonna start documenting now. But um, yeah, when I stopped wearing makeup, it started to dry out. It started to dry out and it started to go away. So I'm like, it's the makeup. Like it has to be the makeup. And I really wasn't even trying. Like that, the, me not wearing makeup for a week wasn't, wasn't even a strategy. It was really just like me, not feeling like making content and me not feeling like recording um and i slowly realized that you know this these this acne on my chin was going away like slowly so i am yeah i'm on a mission i'm on a mission to even out my skin tone i'm on a mission to you know fade these dark marks i'm on a mission to lighten up um the darkness around my eyes like i'm on a mission of self-love and you know just like my hair how when i first started locking my hair i really wasn't brave enough to wear my hair out because i just felt like it looked crazy so i wore wigs over my head and after a year you know when my locks were like probably like this long i said you know what? i'm gonna start wearing my hair out and you know that first like two months of me wearing my hair out was like the most depressing days i ever been through like i did not want to take a picture i couldn't take a picture of myself i was just crying but i knew i had to go through it you know i knew i had to go through it like i i knew there was no way around it i had to face it you know, and as time went by, I started to love my hair more and more and more. And, you know, now that my hair is longer, it's way easier to love. So now that I feel like I conquered that, you know, my my insecurity with my hair, now it's time to tackle my skin. And, you know, now that my hair is, you know, long enough to where I feel comfortable, like, you know, I don't need, I, I don't feel like I need wigs. I don't feel like I need, you know, any enhancements when it comes to that. 
now I can tackle my skin. Um, so I already know I'm going to be going through periods of feeling ugly. I, first of all, I already had a breakdown tonight. So period. Um, yeah, I've been thinking that I look ugly. Like I'll look in the mirror and I'll just like nitpick at myself and point out all of my imperfections and I I am tired like this is heavy on my spirit and it's just it's distracting you know I can't remember the last time I felt this this heavy about my skin and my face and you know i haven't hated my face like this ever i don't think like not not how i feel now so i know i'm coming to a point where you know i have to heal this and i have to face it head on and i have to let go of the makeup in order to properly heal heal my skin so um yeah yeah and you know i want to appreciate my face <laughs> like i want to appreciate my face <laughs> like i know that sounds weird maybe it doesn't but it sounds weird coming out my mouth because i tied my identity with how i do my makeup you know how i do my eyebrows I made that my identity. How I do my highlight and my, the cut, the slits in my eyebrows and how I like, I literally made that a part of me. But that part doesn't sleep with me. That part is not in the shower with me. That part is not, you know, around my family. That part is not with me with my boyfriend. Like that part is not with me all the time. So it's almost like I feel like a fraud. Like this self-love and, you know, this motivational content that I love putting out, I feel like I am not embodying it fully because I'm not fully em I'm not fully embracing myself. You know? Um how am I going to tell someone else to love yourself when I'm not fully loving myself? You know? So that's just something that I have to do. Like I feel compelled and I knew this day was coming. I knew this day was coming years ago. Like I tell myself, you know what? Now that I, now that I have natural hair, my, my skin is going to come next. My face is coming next, but I don't know when though. <laughs> I ain't ready now, but I know one day I'm going to stop wearing makeup and I don't even know if I'm going to stop, you know, completely, but I, I can't believe I'm actually at this point where I'm deciding that I'm starting this process, you know? Um, I want to feel comfortable. I want to feel comfortable when I wake up. I want to feel comfortable. I don't want to feel insecure about myself. I want to feel confident. I want to feel beautiful when I'm out in public, you know? I want to feel beautiful when I'm on live. I want to feel beautiful when I'm making videos. I just want to feel beautiful without makeup. And it's crazy, you know, this process. Ugh, this <laughs> I have to be patient. I know it's going to take a minute. You know, just how growing my hair. I'm I'm I think a little over 3 years. It took three years for me to like really start loving my hair. Well, actually, no, I started loving my hair after like a year, to be honest. I ain't gonna lie. But now I love it even more. Like the longer it gets and the more I can swing it, the more I love it. And I know that it's gonna be the same way with my skin. Like I have to be patient with my skin. I have to give my skin time to change and to heal and to clear up and you know do its thing i know it's not gonna happen overnight um i wish there was like a 
overnight, you know what I'm saying, remedy, but it's really not. I tried chemical peels and that completely messed my face up. Like completely. I would never do that ever again. I tried dermaplaning. That was a waste of money because I can do that myself. <laughs> um, I never tried laser, but for some strange reason, I feel like I'm not going to have a good reaction because every thing that I try to do to my body that's not natural, I have a bad reaction. And it's so annoying, you know? It's like, damn, like, all these other girls can get their little chemical pills and have, you know, good skin in like three months. And I can't do that because my skin completely rejected the chemicals in, in, in whatever they put on my face. So it's like I have to do everything the long slow holistic natural way <sighs> and as unfair as I feel like that is it's like whatever you know whatever whatever because I know there's someone out there just like me that can't take any shortcuts so yeah this is basically my first vlog, me, you know, expressing my feelings about this and me starting my healing process and tackling my insecurities when it comes to my face. And, you know, I know that these sacrifices are going to come with a great reward. I just have to be consistent and I have to, you know, continue to speak love and light into myself every single day, make it a part of my affirmations. You know, my skin is beautiful. I love my skin. You know, I, I'm looking more youthful and more beautiful in every single day. And I have to add that in, you know, so that um, my mind can slowly start to recreate my reality. Because, you know, the way I've been perceiving things lately you know it's not good it's not good I don't like it it doesn't feel good to my heart and I want change so yeah <laughs> um I guess I should drink some water <laughs> Okay. <laughs>